Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I kind of want to talk a bit about like how I choose colors and how to compose images, especially if you feel like you have a bit of troubles when you like to choose your own colors or how you compose an image. Because sometimes, you know, you start a painting and you might not be uh, quite sure what kind of colors you want to put in and you experiment a bit and can get a bit difficult. So hopefully by uh, sharing some of my methods that I like to use fairly often in this video, it'll help you also in your own workflow. So for the example, I painted uh, a fan art of this of movie Mononoke. I'm a huge fan of that movie, and there was a particular frame of that movie uh, when she's like when she sees Ashitaka for the first time at the bank of the river. I kind of wanted to reinterpret it in my own way and give it a slightly more dark feel to it, uh, more mature colors as well. Uh, and I think also that's one thing that's important whenever you're painting something is try to have a clear vision before you start even if it's an inspiration from a movie or something. So let's jump into it shall we? So there's many things you can do to help improve your process and one of the things I love to do a lot of the time is putting together a mood board as you can see here. And if you're not familiar with the mood board, it essentially helps you set a direction for your painting. Things that inspire you could be color palette, could be the posture, could be the attitude of something. Kind of like your way of looking at, get a feel for your image and you can always refer back to it. And I encourage you at the start of the process to, to set that up because it'll help you set up. Whenever you feel like you're a bit confused in the process, I always like to refer back to it because that is my original vision for the painting. Always, I can always find it there. Um, and as we jump into the painting itself, I always love to start with really broad brush strokes and just try to cover the image uh, as much of it as possible. I also try to answer as many questions and concerns I have early because in my mind, every time I do a painting, I gotta quickly convince myself this painting is gonna work uh, and I need to solve the major problems. And in this painting particularly, it was more about how can I create a good focal point, you know? The colors are really important in this image as well because I really wanted to focus on those more muted palettes. Uh, and I use, I used to use, R, uh, I use RGB a lot now. I used to use HSB, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but the problem with HSB, the sliders that you have here, is you can control the hue and sa the saturation much more. And it, I found the problem with it if you're using it yourself and you feel like you're getting very desaturated paintings and you always have to like bump it up in the end uh, i found with hs uh, with hsp that's the problem that always happens because it's much easier to enter the more desaturated colors with rgb sliders um, i feel like i've been using it for about two years i have way less control over it and because of that and it's way harder to get those uh, desaturated colors i feel like the palettes are so much richer you know if you haven't used it before i really recommend you to give it a try uh, i personally love it and sometimes you end up with some very uh, happy accents sense of colors but it's important also uh, to uh, when you pick your colors and when you're doing your painting try to think of the colors to help emphasize the mood and the story of the painting itself because when you know yourself, the kind of feeling you want to provoke with the viewer, do you want the user to feel like they're scared, there's a bit of tension, or is it a happy moment? Having that vision by establishing a mood board early on or any form of reference that helps you is set the North Star for yourself. That's what's really key because that always allows you to refer back to and see if you're hitting what you originally intended. Uh, and it gives you something to aim towards because sometimes, you know, you're just feeling it, you're just going through the image, exploring a bunch of things, maybe you don't have a clear goal of what you want to do. I think that's very helpful to, to paint and draw like that. But if you want to do an illustration, I think trying to answer as many questions and have a very clear goal of where you want to go will help you get there much more easily. You know, because there's a lot of things when you go through a painting. I like to think it as like an emotional roller coaster. Sometimes you are very excited. Sometimes you simply want to cry in a corner. Uh, and having a, something to refer back to as a vision uh, really helps you to keep going through the painting. Um, and as you see, like I personally like to work very flat. I don't like to work with too much gradient in my personal work. Because uh, I just like to think of graphical shapes. So I'm trying to trying to think of how the light is hitting the wolves, what kind of color, etc. 
because it's important that they match in with the environment that's why i like to do the environment first and the characters later because i feel like my background is in, with the environments so by painting in the background first it becomes much easier for me to paint in characters in the scene and making all the colors feel more cohesive i also even like to color pick things from within the background to add it on the characters themselves because then it really feels massaged together and that it's all part of one thing and uh, that's one thing also if you haven't done that much with your personal work i recommend you to give it a try uh, I, I use it so much you know even if it's like a tiny tint of it uh, it just adds so much pop and flavor to it next thing i really want to encourage you to try it might sound a bit ridiculous but actually taking a break from the painting and coming back i found to be one of the most helpful things to try and spot things that are wrong with the image especially if you feel like it, there's something wrong with the colors because i feel like us as artists when we look at something for too long you kind of get tunnel visioned on it so taking a step back something i did with this painting i came back and i repainted quite a bit because uh, I noticed like the wolves were in mus uh, mess uh, matching with the environment. Uh, there were some problems with some of the colors, some of the gestures. So I ended up tweaking a tiny bit. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope there's something in this video that you can use in your own work. Uh, I want to do more in this series. So a suggestion for future episode, please drop it in the comment section below. And I might touch on that in the next episode. Uh, but for now, I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more. And have a fantastic Friday. Have a good one.